of a mystery. Mars, on one hand, is cold. It's a frozen desert. Desolate, but maybe a future home for the human race. Venus is closer to the sun, and it is the opposite, with temperatures at blisteringly hot temperatures of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. NASA's recent renewed interest in Venus comes after a groundbreaking 1960s discovery that hinted at potential life on the fiery planet. Once dubbed Hell's Planet, NASA's historical records tell a different story now. Amid the space race, the Soviet Union remarkably shifted its focus towards Venus, sending 28 ambitious missions with eight successful landings. This secret-filled era is now illuminated by Neil deGrasse Tyson, showcasing declassified photos that shed light on their daring endeavors. While the Soviets hid much about their intentions, these missions were remarkable feats, marking their supremacy in space exploration often overshadowed by the U.S.'s satellite-focused approach. The secrets behind the Soviet passion for Venus remain intriguing, with theories ranging from military aims to resourceful efficiency. Despite the secrecy, their missions were true trailblazers, laying the foundation for our cosmic understanding. Stay with us as we uncover the secrets found by the Soviet mission. Venus, a planet of extremes that has puzzled cosmologists, with its blistering temperatures and thick atmosphere, life's possibility seems dim. Imagine, temperatures so high that they can melt lead, and water is a rarity. The air pressure, a hopping 90 times Earth's. But wait, let's rewind and acknowledge the Soviet Union's unsung role. They ventured into the Venusian enigma, akin to keeping up with a cosmic race. While Mars beckoned, Venus was closer, bridging the cost gap due to its proximity. The Soviet missions, though criticized for technical hiccups, had their strategy. Their spacecraft's limitations led to shorter, closer Venus missions, aiming for concrete results. And oh, the space race drama. Post-World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union wrestled for space supremacy. Remember Sputnik? The Soviets set the tone. The U.S. countered with NASA and the iconic moon landing bolstered their might. Skepticism loomed, moon landing deniers and Venus setbacks, but the Soviets played their hand strategically. With limited resources, they pursued Venus, proving a point. NASA, meanwhile, aimed for lunar glory. Tension simmered, propaganda thrived, with Venus cast as a hellish planet and Mars as the beacon. But through it all, the Venera missions emerged often overlooked yet pivotal. These missions, like hidden gems, marked the dawn of the space age, a testament to humanity's relentless quest for cosmic superiority. In the captivating 1950s, the Soviets embarked on a daring journey with advanced probes through their Venera program. This mission unfolded against the backdrop of the tense Cold War era, driving them to maximize their potential. Their ambitious efforts birthed larger spacecraft, both manned and unmanned, launching them to great heights using powerful rockets and cutting-edge telemetry systems. These missions paved the way for outer space exploration, even landing on other planets, though technology was still in its infancy. Amidst the challenging task of exploring Venus, the Soviets persevered, pushing their technology forward despite obstacles. Their defining moment arrived with Venera 1, launched on February 12, 1961, weighing an impressive 1,400 pounds. This leap showcased Soviet mastery in spacecraft engineering, leaving a lasting impression in the space race. Despite setbacks, including resemblance debates to Dr. Hudalics, the Soviets pushed boundaries with their advanced instruments. Although Venera 1 faced initial failures, it achieved a monumental feat by flying past Venus, opening doors to Venus's atmosphere exploration. Venera 2 followed, refining the design and reaching closer to Venus. However, overheating issues persisted, leading to further setbacks. Soviet determination remained unwavering as they tackled challenges through persistence. Venera 3, despite its intended smooth landing, crashed into Venus underscoring the difficulties faced by the USR. Yet, they pressed on, 
with Venera 4 collecting crucial data before succumbing to the planet's heat and thick atmosphere. The agency unveiled Venus's mysteries, revealing high carbon dioxide levels and the absence of a magnetic field. Despite setbacks, the Soviet Space Agency remained unyielding, symbolizing the spirit of exploration and innovation that defined their era. In the exciting journey of space exploration, the Soviet space program achieved remarkable milestones with the launch of Venera 5 and Venera 6. These missions triumphed by transmitting valuable data for almost an hour while descending through Venus's thick atmosphere. Though the planet's extreme conditions dashed hopes for habitability, the Soviets' fascination with Venus endured. Astonishingly, declassified documents and photos from Venera revealed a shift in their motivation. While life on Venus seemed unlikely, the Soviets honed in on researching astrobiological beings on the planet. Their ahead-of-the-curve understanding of Venus' potential was evident as they captured images of the planet's surface through missions like Venera 7 and Venera 8. The Soviets' dedication to finding signs of life amidst Venus' clouds continued, even as economic struggles influenced their sharing of findings. The once mighty USR faced financial constraints, yielding space dominance to the United States. Still, their legacy in interplanetary exploration remained strong. Modern scientists are challenging the notion of Venus's uninhabitability. NASA's proposal of Venus's oceanic past and the discovery of phosphine in 2020 ignited intrigue. This noxious gas, usually produced by anaerobic bacteria, raised questions about potential life forms on Venus. The Soviets' decades-long obsession with Venus's mysteries especially the groundbreaking phosphine discovery, remains a captivating topic among planetary scientists. The renowned advocate for discovering habitable planets, Neil deGrasse Tyson, expressed his excitement about a groundbreaking discovery. During a lively conversation with astrobiologist David Grinspoon, Tyson hailed this finding as a significant step forward. While the idea of floating cities on Venus might initially sound outlandish, the key takeaway is evaluating a planet's potential to support life beyond its atmosphere. The scientific community is currently engrossed in searching numerous exoplanets for signs of extraterrestrial life. The recent identification of phosphine on Venus has ignited even greater enthusiasm and prospects in the quest for life beyond Earth. Despite the challenges posed by our current technology and the vastness of space, Tyson believes that studying a planet's atmosphere provides invaluable insights into its suitability for life. The discovery of phosphine has kindled a fresh wave of astronomical curiosity in Venus. Even though inhabiting Venus with its noxious air remains implausible, delving into the planet's history and its potential connection with extraterrestrial entities is a hopeful endeavor. The Soviet Union's Venera missions, especially the Venera mission, offer us a head start in comprehending Venus. NASA and various space agencies are actively on the lookout for astrobiological life forms on Venus. Declassified snapshots from the Venera mission shed light on potential encounters with living organisms during Venera 13. Dr. Sen Formality, a distinguished senior researcher at the Russian Academy of Sciences, played a pivotal role in these missions. In a groundbreaking research paper, Dr. Formality unveiled that Venera 13 accomplished more than just a successful landing on Venus. Upon revisiting panoramic images from the mission, three objects emerged with characteristics resembling living organisms. These photographs, kept under wraps for decades due to their confidential nature, have now taken center stage thanks to the renewed interest in Venus. Speculation suggests that the Soviets concealed these images to prevent interference from the better-funded U.S. space agency, protecting their significant findings. In reality, Venera 13's triumphant landing on Venus in Nafka Planitia, within the eastern part of Fibregio, Regio, marked a major achievement. The mission endured for an astonishing 127 minutes, capturing high-resolution views of Venus's surface. Upon re-examination of Venera 13's camera shots, a researcher discovered intriguing elements. Objects with distinctive shapes, ranging from decimeters to half a meter in size, 
were present in some images, but absent or altered in others. This researcher detailed three primary objects. The first resembled a disc-shaped entity that seemed responsive to heat or pressure variations. The second object, initially appearing as a black rag, evolved into a vertically elongated black figure with an unfamiliar appearance. Surprisingly, this object vanished from images taken later on. The most captivating discovery was an extraterrestrial scorpion spotted around the 90th minute of the mission, showcased in unclassified photos. This astonishing creature traversing the harsh terrain of Venus raises questions about its origin, possibly linked to alien or astrobiological forces. The resurfaced images have reignited fervor for space exploration, especially within the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. As we venture into this new era of space exploration, Moscow envisions Venus as its celestial home. By 2029, they are determined to dispatch a comprehensive mission to explore Venus of close, opening new chapters in our exploration of the cosmos. As we conclude this incredible journey into the mysteries of the cosmos, one thing becomes undeniably clear. The universe never ceases to amaze us. From the heights of celestial wonder to the depths of scientific exploration, we've delved into the captivating world of Neil deGrasse Tyson's awe-inspiring panic over declassified photos from Venus, courtesy of the Soviet Union. But remember, fellow explorers of the unknown, this is only the beginning. The cosmos holds countless secrets yet to be uncovered, and with each passing day, we inch closer to unraveling the enigmatic threads that bind us to the stars. Meet us back here every day for updates on everything space-related, like the video if you enjoyed it, comment down your thoughts, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more quality videos.